And tonight we are learning a lot more about the potential legal fallout from the deadliest fire within the city of Las Vegas ever. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Trisha Keene and I'm Jackie Kostek. Todd has the night off. The Alpine Motel apartment fire killed six people and injured dozens of others. The authorities are moving ahead with their investigation and now another investigation is getting started. 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is live at the Alpine Motel apartments near 9th and Ogden tonight. And Joe, what are we learning about a potential lawsuit here? Well, Jackie and Trisha, there are some serious allegations that are being made. No heat throughout the building. The residents here using their stoves inside their rooms for warmth. At least one exit door bolted shut, and now it's all part of a new private investigation. The inquiry into the deadliest fire within the city of Las Vegas's jurisdiction is taking a new turn. Attorney Marway Porter is representing two of the victims. He's launching his own investigation into some alarming allegations. Family members. Um, you know, I devised that that the, the, the back door was bolted shut, um, which became very problematic for my client because she was disabled and she was on a walker and she was not able to get out. 61 year old Cynthia McKell, a mother of two, was consumed by the choking smoke and deadly flames. She, along with five other people, weren't able to escape with their lives. You know, these are the people that we should be taking care of and not taking advantage of. And it, it seems like this is the classic situation where, you know, uh, you know, some of the individuals who were responsible may have been putting you know, profits over people. Some of the people who perished were senior citizens living on very little. From what we know thus far, uh, apparently there was no heat, you know, in the building. And, and it's beyond me. It perplexes me that, you know, we're going into 2020 and, and there's no heat in a building here in Las Vegas. Porter claims management was put on notice by several people living at the apartments. Authorities believe many were using in-room stoves for heat. Temperatures on that late December evening hovered in the 30s. And we want to know why some of the residents were not able to get out. The investigation considered a criminal probe at this point. 13 investigates asked Las Vegas police and Las Vegas Fire and Rescue. Both agencies say the inquiry is open and active. 13 Action News spoke exclusively to the co-owner of the property, Melinda Meyer, immediately after the fire. We asked point blank about any city code violations that may have existed in the building before the fire. Say so we have code enforcement, health department come out. Um, everything that needs to be fixed gets fixed in a timely manner. And um, as far as the smoke and the fire, I wasn't there. So um, right now it's all just uh, speculation. Porter says a full-blown investigation will use experts from across the country, and he says he's preparing to file a lawsuit to make sure a fire like this never happens again. And Porter has just taken on another client. He suffered third-degree burns in the fire. He is expected to survive. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. All right, Joe, thank you.